What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Fogo, and today we're going to talk about Tier 3 She-Hulk. Now, we can't really say anything about Black Widow because the only thing that's different about her is the fact that she actually goes to Tier 4. And I do have 71% of my potential, so I'm just going to have to wait a few days, probably, more than likely, before I can actually see what she's like at level 80. But She-Hulk, I mean, I have to say, aesthetically, she looks pretty good, right? I mean, she looks a lot like Jennifer in the show. She looks... She looks great. They did a really great job on her aesthetically. She has uh, almost 50,000 physical attack. She has uh, pretty much max stats, guys. Her critical damage is a little shy, but you're definitely going to get the drift of how strong she is in this video, uh, especially with, you know, about 70% physical attack, 22% pierce. And I will kind of put things in perspective as far as how strong she is, especially compared to recent tier threes that we've got, like Kamala Khan. But I do have some Urus already on this character, so some five-star Urus honor but that's pretty much about it and her skills are all at six now her tier three does give her a damage proc and this is you do want to proc on the tier three it will do the most damage if you do that and you can actually incorporate some other skills with it to get a little extra residual damage to do even more damage on top of that she does have penetration which is nice the invincibility is nice on her right uh she does have the decreased damage to see by 30 percent you will find that she all is actually pretty easy to play she's pretty proc friendly for the most part every once in a while myself a little early if you mistime things a little bit but for the most part she's pretty proc friendly although we are playing my emulator and i'm not really that familiar with playing with this controller just yet on the emulator so i might miss some proc so you know bear with me if i do do that but on my phone i really don't have any problems and then you know the one the two no big deal the three she does have a 25 percent recovery heal this is awesome because you can actually instantly cancel the skill and you actually will get the heal no matter what so that's really really nice it does have paralysis for so for you regular world boss uh ultimate clears that's actually really really good and then the fourth skill gives her nine seconds of immunity which is insane for survivability on top of the heal plus the 50 percent attack buff is nice that is nice man that's a huge huge buff so you always want to try to you know put keep that uh, up as much as you can and this on and this lasts for an entire 10 seconds which is nice and then the fifth skill gives her another 45 percent attack buff right and then her passive gives her chain hit damage by 10 percent and ignore dodge by 30 percent this is really really nice especially against null and thank god this was a typo on the patch notes that we saw where they showed it was only 20 percent i thought it was probably a typo but i just wasn't sure and yes she still remains at a 65 percent leadership now the question a lot of people are going to be asking themselves is the uniform really going to be worth buying right is it going to be worth buying considering that her previous uniform already gave her 65 percent increase to male types well, let's take a look at the uniform options real quick. First uniform option is Cersei, which is actually really good. The next option is Corvus, which isn't bad. The next one's Nightcrawler, which is bad. That's terrible. And then you got Black Panther, which is unfortunately bad. Not a very good uniform at all. And then you have Electro, who is a paywall. So her uniform options are a bit lackluster in all honesty, guys. And then when it comes to her uniform effect, she does get Guard Break Immunity, which is nice. Increased boss to damage to boss types by 10% is nice. This is actually 10% more than what it was in the Behemoth uniform here which is really really cool right and when you play with her guys she's actually a pretty simple character to play now actually in my testing after what i just looked at my skills and my testing i actually was kind of playing her a little bit wrong but you'll see what we're doing so we just you want to go three five she's gonna move to the side and then go four as soon as she moves the side hit that four skill so you can get all that residual damage from the five now when she does the five right she does a whistle and she brings in hulk Right, and he comes in, does some smashing, and they little bob their heads a little bit, which is nice, right? But you want to hit that three so you get the uh, heal as well, right? So it's just three, five, four, three, five, four, and then three, four, five, tier three. So three, four, five, move to the side, tier three, right? That way you get your attack buffs from your four and your five, right? In my testing earlier, I actually wasn't using that four skill before I would hit the tier three. And the way that I'm going to be playing her, guys, is I'm just going to be doing, you know, I'm going to hit the tier three every third rotation. Now, you could probably do it every uh, two rotations if you want to, but I want to try to make sure I keep the proc where it belongs. So we'll jump into World Boss here, and let's see what she can do. So we'll go against Null, right? And we'll do stage 19, human. And we're doing stage 19 because I've tested a, a most recent characters that we've gotten on this stage, right? Now, She-Hulk 
is going to have double support because she actually has this really great leadership. We're just going to use Wave. We're going to use Taskmaster, right? We're just going to use one Ignore Dodge Striker. She already has 30% Ignore Dodge uh, from her passive. So 50% Ignore Dodge, I mean, it's more than enough, right? It's more than enough. Hopefully, we don't miss any procs since I'm playing with this controller, playing with an emulator. Uh, it's definitely a different world. It's been a long time since I've used an emulator. And for those that are curious, I'm using an LD Player 9. All right, so we're going to hit that 3, 5, move to the side, hit that 4, and we didn't miss our proc. I'm going to go ahead and try to hit the 2, 1. Okay. There we go, there we go, there we go. Not bad. Now, what I want to do here is I want to hit 3, 4, 5. And then tier 3. So the damage is looking pretty respectful, right? But it's only stage uh, 19. And she does set off the proc from her tier 3, which does kind of suck. So you are kind of waiting around a little bit. There we go. But as you guys can see, she's a, a pretty proc-friendly character. I'm just throwing in the 2-1 for good measure. There we hit our tier 3. That worked out nicely, right? I noticed the proc didn't engage, so I just went ahead and hit my tier 3. There we go. Nice, nice. So we didn't miss one proc, guys. We didn't miss one proc, right? And it took just a little over a minute, right? About a minute, 10 seconds or so, right? And what I want you guys to notice is, you know, the build that I have on this character right now, okay? So with my build, you know, we talked about, you know, the details and all that and skills, right? She does have type. But she has a fully, or she has a stage 6 power of Angry Hawk set. She does have 5 star physical attack Urus, right? No artifact. And she's got 160% proc and a mythic uniform. Now, when I did this test with Kamala, we actually did that in 50 seconds, right? We did that first phase of Null in 50 seconds. And with Kamala, I didn't have any Urus. With Kamala, I had a normal ranked uniform. And with Kamala, I was using 140% damage proc instead of 160% damage proc. And I didn't have near as much critical damage. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is that She-Hawk is strong. She is pretty proc friendly. She is an easy character to play. But the truth is, guys, she's a human female. And there are just other characters in the game, right, that are going to be probably just as good, if not better, that you can use for your requirements in World Boss Legend. I don't think she's going to be doing anything in PvP. Because when you start moving up the ladder, right, you go to female, stage 26, I mean, there's plenty of females, guys. I mean, we just got Kamala, right, who can actually take advantage of white Fox, right, who can take advantage of much better supports. You got Sharon Rogers who can do the same thing. There's a lot of characters in here. Athena, like Storm, right, like characters that have level 80s available. Uh, Blue Dragon, right, like all these characters can absolutely get done. I mean, Black Widow, right, who's going to have a level 80. You're just going to use those characters instead. And when you climb the ladder and you go even higher, right, I mean, you get all the way up to uh, Mutant. Let me see here. So here is human female, right? Well, stage 55, look who's in here, guys. Look at this, right? You're going to be better off using this character than you would She-Hulk, right? I mean, you, you, the leadership is good, but you don't need the uniform for the leadership. You don't need it, right? You can just, all you really need is the character, and you're going to have a really great leadership to male types already. Then if you already have the previous uniform, then you're going to have this 65% damage to male types. And this is a problem. I mean, Jane Foster, guys, Blue Dragon again. I mean, all these really strong characters can do these higher levels, right? They can already get it done. So here you need combat human. Well, guess what? You got Hawk. You got... You know, Moon Knight, both have level 80s. You're just going to use those characters instead, you know, for these clears, right? And that's kind of the thing, you know, that's kind of the problem with her. It's like, I don't really think anybody really needs the new uniform per se, because it doesn't look overpowered by any means. It does look fairly strong, but it doesn't look OP, right? And then if you take a look at Mephisto's requirements, right, you jump all the way down here. Like, we'll just go down to... Uh, 39, right? Leadership, she doesn't have that, right? Let's see, we go up a little bit more. And so here we have superhero, human, female, right? Say 61 above. Look who's in here, guys. I mean, again, you have a character that's level 80. You have 
this character who has the, both these characters have type advantages. They're going to be not so in here, almost guarantee it, right? Especially when this character is a tier four. Right? But even if you're not tier fouring a character, you just use Kamala here. That's kind of the thing, guys. That's the problem. Blue Dragon, again, has level 80 as well. I mean, there's already viable options that are actually, in my opinion, opinion better choices than She-Hulk. So the uniform is a good uniform, and it's a huge upgrade for her. It makes her way stronger than what she was before. And I actually really like how it looks aesthetically, and I like how it plays. But... I really don't think anybody needs the uniform. I mean, unless you don't have like some of these previous uniforms, like when you take a look at this uniform here, right? This is an old uniform. It's got increased male ties by 55%, right? Take a look at the Mr. Fantastic one here or the Mr. Fantastic, the Fantastic one, right? The leadership gives increase to 60% male types. I mean, if you already had this uniform, getting an extra 5% really isn't worth those crystals, in my opinion. But I mean, this is an old uniform. A lot of players might already have this one, right? So I just think that more than likely for most players, this is going to be a skip, especially if you already have this uniform here, because it does give 65% to male types. Don't get me wrong. Like, if, I mean, if she hawks your girl, she's your waifu, and you want to build her up, by all means, go for it, man. It's a huge upgrade. She's going to play way better than what she was before. And who knows? Maybe if I give her a much better build, maybe if I put a CTB of energy on her or a CTB of destruction, she'll be godly. But she is dealing with a lot of competition, characters that already have level 80s, characters that can reach tier 4, characters like Kamala who are just godly already, who are just much stronger than She-Hulk. So, in person, and that is also a physical character. So, in my personal opinion, guys, I really think for most players, this is probably going to be a skip. So, guys, let me know what you think about She-Hulk's new uniform. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me and why. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GD plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See you, everybody.